Hey guys, and welcome back. So, just turning my audio down once again. All right. I made a small change to the otter since the last time. I added an inventory system. This is just something that I needed to note. This is essentially just saying the otter can carry stuff. So he's gonna be able to carry one thing in his hands at a time. That's just more so that we know what we're doing. Okay, so today we're going to be talking about the puzzle system. I have this little to-do list with items on it that we need to take care of, such as figuring out how they're going to, well, how the otter's going to die, figuring out if we want a collectible system, and then a debate that we will have about a hard level system or a soft level system. Now, what I mean by this is are we going to have level 1 and then you have a loading screen and then level 2 loading screen level 3 loading screen or are we gonna have the whole thing in one level that's a decision we're gonna have to make later because I had an idea that would use a soft level system that would make part of the game pretty fun I was thinking with the puzzle system the way the um, the spot in our game where we, the spot right before the waterfall, uh, where we encourage the fish, maybe we could organize the fish into like three groups, and depending on the sizes of the groups, each group would have different success going up the waterfall, and you'd have to be with the group that was the most likely to succeed, and something like that, which would require some if you fail that level, you'd have to go back to the previous level and rearrange it. And so it would require some interplay between the levels. Just something that we can think about. We don't have to we don't have to do that. Could be fun. Alright. With that, let's pop over to Krita and do some thinking. So our puzzle system. Puzzle. I don't want to edit the group. I want my brush. Give me back my brush. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. What'd I do? That's new. That's a new one. Okay, we're back. <laughs> yeah, Critic can be a bit of a pain sometimes, but it's great. It leads to more entertaining, right? Okay, so, puzzle. Draw the line under the thing. So we already decided that there would be... Huh. I pushed the button again. Oh, I figured it out. There's a button on my tablet that I've been pushing. Okay. Put my right hand off to the side so that I don't push that button. All right, so we agreed, well, decided that we would have five sections to each level. Now, I was thinking that order does not matter on these, but we need five types. So the first type that I'm thinking of is exploration. With exploration, let's bump up the size of our thingy again. We're gonna need to. I promise my hand wasn't there. I don't know what I did. What is this? Huh. never had this do this to me. This is new. We're going to need to find and trigger the event. This won't always be the first thing that we do, but I'm, what I'm meaning by this is, well, from level, from level one, we're going to have to get past the beaver dam. 
So our puzzle one here would be finding the beaver dam. But we'll get more into detail as we do the actual level design. These will just be the baseline templates that we can draw from in order to pick what we're going to be doing, like pick how to design our levels. Okay, so the second one I'm thinking we'll need to place objects. What am I doing there? I really would like to know. If anybody has Krita and has the same thing happen to them, let me know because up until now it's never done this to me. Place objects in the right order. So with this one I'm thinking like with the fish did my music die or something? Maybe? There we go. Okay. So, we're back. <laughs> Sorry about that. So with placing, placing the objects in the right order, I was thinking that this would be in something like when we hit the salmon run. So in level, in level four, we have the salmon run. So we got to figure out how to herd this herd the salmon to where we need them to go. So I'm thinking kind of a symbol like this of and then one going all the way over and back. So you mix and match them until they fit. This can be like you stack up some rocks to topple something or other. We can decide like to topple over through the kelp wall or maybe to, I don't know, things like that. We don't have to think about specifics yet, like I said. The third one. A carry maze. Now, carry maze, these ones are fun and interesting because navigating the maze isn't difficult for the otter or for the player, but carrying the object through the maze makes things a bit difficult. So, this will be like during the rapids. We're gonna have to do something like that. That'll be something we can decide later. So we can do that with the rapids. It could also work with number seven, the well, finding our rock, where we have to complete us we have to move object a over to object B so move objects through kind of a maze so we'll have to think more about what a carry maze would exactly entail in this but I think it would be a fun obstacle to have and then the fourth one my personal favorite find them all, or in this case, eat them all. In these instances, we'll need to, like, on level two, to prep for the rapids, we're gonna need, we're gonna need some strength. And so, you gotta find and eat everything you can everything you can of a certain type. 
So maybe we'll have some glowy salmon. Who knows? We'll decide that. And then the number five, use item. Now use items, it's going to be like in level one with the beaver dam, we need to, well, we need to break the dam. And in order to break the dam, we're going to need something, like we're going to need a stick that we can use as a lever. It's got to be a nice strong stick that we can actually use, a nice grip on it. And that's going to be something that we're going to have to use the item by carrying it through the maze after we find and trigger the event. So, and inside the carry maze, we'll have to place objects in the right order, and then while we do it all, we have to find and eat everything. So, that would be a basic level type that we could use. Now I'm going to get rid of all those arrows because oops, I want that one. Because that's a lot of stuff. So, that would be the basic idea behind one level, is we find the event, then find the item that we need to take through the event, well, to the event, then we need to get the item through the maze by placing objects in the right order, and then in somewhere in there, we need to eat all the thingies. Maybe this could be something along the lines of our collectibles. Just something that we can think about. All right, so I'm liking where this is going. So let's move over to the notepad file and add the puzzle system. So, point one, exploration. Find and trigger an event. Point two, place ob objects in the right order. Objective three, carry maze. Objective four, find and eat them all. Objective five, use the item. All right, so that is the basic idea for our puzzle system. This is something that we'll, well, this is where all, most of our gameplay is gonna happen. And so now that we have it, we can start thinking further about what else we wanna do, like getting over to those pickups that we were talking about last time because we need to figure out our pickups. All right, guys. Thank you all for watching, and if you liked the video, don't hesitate to leave me a like. If you're feeling chatty, leave me a comment. And if you're new around here, feel free to hit subscribe. Thank you all for watching. With that lady singing, I hope you have fun.